Do you think of Sri Lanka? Black tea, sea crabs, or delicious spicy food come to mind? Or we watch the news. Our top story this hour in Sri Lanka: Anger protests to storm the presidential economic, economic, economic crisis, crisis in Sri Lanka, which is becoming increasingly dramatic. Perhaps you're reminded of civil strife or a tumbling economy. While conflicts have cooled down, locals are still struggling with economic turmoil. Is Shin Chen here? I visit Sri Lanka to find out how building a new city is helping the country to stand back on its feet. Well, now I present to you the future. Colombo Port City, a new development right next to the downtown area of the Sri Lankan commercial capital. Colombo Port City development is a major step forward for which China has been taken the initiative, supported Sri Lanka. With help from China, Colombo Port City is being built with 71 million cubic meters of sand from sea reclamation. The plan for the new city is to make it a Sri Lankan version of China's special economic zone of Shenzhen. It may not be commonly known to the world that Colombo, the capital city of Sri Lanka, sits at a crucial location that links the Asia-Pacific and the Middle East. Yet, despite its geographical advantages, the country is now facing an unprecedented economic crisis, forcing it to restructure its debts and eagerly look for help from China. In Sinhalese, we are called Nelum uh -huh. but in English, we call Lotus Tower. Wow. The Lotus Tower, built with Chinese help, is the tallest building in Sri Lanka, a landmark and a symbol for a thriving future. In Colombo, I met Sanjiwa Ganyan Elvis, an experienced engineer who hopes to help rebuild the city and country. So, the humidity here in Colombo has always been high, right? Uh, not always, sometimes it's high, but this season is a little bit high. Ah. The moisture and well, hazy sky, mixed with Colombo's crowded and congested roads, is a suffocating scene. Yet, there is not much to work done on the existing city infrastructure. Still, a quarter of Sri Lanka's total population live in Colombo. Locals are in need to find ways out of the stagnant growth. Colombo city is already congested and in that city is not properly planned because this was built long ago. In the poor city, there are development control regulations on what should be built in each plot. Better planning comes with better attractions for international investors to come. Colombo poor city is over 2.5 million square meters, accounting for 10% of the commercial capital's land area. It's hoped the new city will become a top-notch residential and commercial destination in South Asia. Elwes has been in construction for three decades. He also accumulated some good experience while working in Dubai. He came back to Sri Lanka about 10 years ago and joined the Port City project in 2016. I know the culture and I family with Chinese people, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, I know, I mean, when they start the project, they will do, I mean, they, they will continue the project until the end. There is no stopping. Once we go deep inside the sign for the poor city, I was, was so this eager is, to uh, show me the potential. This is basically the, uh, that's a pumping station yes and this is a water tank area ah. so this underground there's a water tank water from the main city, main district yeah, the poor city still relies on the mainland area for its daily utility supplies like water and electricity construction is expected to be fully completed in the next 20 to 25 years the estimates are that it can help sri lanka attract almost 10 billion US dollars in foreign direct investment and generate revenue more than 5 billion for the government 
a sizable economic boost as the country's GDP stands at around 75 billion. 港口城的话，之所以能诞生的话，实际上是发起于斯里兰卡他自己对未来的发展的一个愿景，老百姓都想有这个美好的一个生活的一个愿望。更重要一点呢，是他原有的这个经济结构以及产业结构呢，他需要去调整这个转型。那这个时时候呢，实际上是刚好是恰逢这个“一带一路”这个倡议，那它必须是这个国际这个元素的，就决定的是什么呢？就是我们在这个产业导入这一块呢，就是说是我们是。百分之二十左右是来自于这个中国，百分之三十的我们是来自于这个斯里兰卡，百分之五十的我们是来自于国际社会。With over 14 billion US dollars invested, the project came into shape after China proposed the Belt and Road Initiative in 2013, a globalization scheme not just focusing on the richest, but more importantly, to help developing countries to grow. So how many courses do you have here over here? Uh, I think we've got about 14, oh. um, most of which... As I explore the recreational area of the port city with businesses already open, I meet Iniki Pitts. Pitts has a special thing for horses. So this is Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeffrey was rescued. Mm -hmm. when we found Pitts comes from the England and now sees Colombo as her second home. She sees the potential ahead for the port city. In 2022, she opened a new horse riding ranch here. Tell us a little bit about this place, the idea behind it, the location. The, why did you come here? That's a very good question. What my vision for this place is to make the most of the horses mm -hmm. as a way of bringing people together, mm -hmm. to bring families here, yeah. to also um, offer something completely different that's not really been yeah. experienced here before. Yeah. So horses, you know, have a long history in Sri Lanka. Yeah. I built these stables a little bit in the style of a British stable. Mm -hmm. Also because I wanted to create something that looked and felt permanent. Oh, yeah. The Colombo Port City aims to help the Sri Lankan commercial capital to become a global hub for travel, for business and for investment. In Pete's view, major hub cities around the world need to have facilities like an equestrian centre offering the lifestyle and attractions to make people stay. What I think is that this has the potential to be an economic engine. So this offers the opportunity to offer that lifestyle, mm -hmm. make it a little bit uniquely Sri Lankan, mm -hmm. and also is something that I can say creates a new uh, level of excitement and interest in the country. I also ran into Noah Fernando, an aspiring young rider who has been one of Pitt's frequent customers. What do you think about it? Just I think it's amazing because, you know, there is so much... I, all I understood is there are a lot of stages to a port city. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, there is a lot of entertainment stages going on, but in yeah. future there will be colleges and in universities and hospitals. Yeah. Um, there will be a business hub. Yeah. I think it will be a game changer for Colombo. But that can be in 20 years or 30 years. That's okay. As long as, there, uh, yeah, as long as there is uh, development and improvement and we're okay. I, you, you need to be a little bit of a risk taker in yeah. Sri Lanka. Yeah. And if you are somebody who wants to make a difference yeah. and somebody who really believes in um, investing in potential, yes. Sri Lanka has all of that. Yeah. For sure it has all of that. But you need to be a little bit, you know, have the stomach for it. And not everyone has the <laughs> stomach for it. Yeah. Uh, Every day we come with new challenges. Oh. <laughs> As night falls, the poor city started to look different. Music, a nice friendly gathering, the beach park is attracting nice crowds. by the beach, it's got good ambience here, great service, food, and we definitely like uh, playing music here, my uh, members, my friends. Jack, along with Johnny and Danny, started their band, Bourbon Blues. They perform across Colombo and of course in the poor city. The beach park is a family-oriented food and beverage place in the poor city. 
tells that Fernando, with four decades of experience in hospitality, started to oversee the cafe's daily operation since 2022. Well, in my 40 years of career in the hospitality, there have been lots of ups and downs. Okay? That, of course, includes the COVID-19 pandemic, which put huge dents on Sri Lanka's economy, a country heavily reliant on its tourism industry. Yet, with tourists coming back and the poor city partially opening up, better days are coming. After entering, after I started to work inside the poor city, I realized it, how ma massive project it is, uh -huh. and which is a good future for younger Sri Lankans. Now, the beach park has become a top choice for local families to spend time off. Recent economic turbulence in Sri Lanka has been severe. The beach park has had to hike its prices to cover increased costs of oil and other imported products. However, as more people are coming to the port city, the beach park can now have enough customers to at least break even. How often do you visit the port city? Port city? Um, I have been here like three times. Yeah. Chinese people are doing this for us. I mean, who, after all, I mean, what we want is to grow as a country and do it with a, with a united, I mean, people, right? Like, it doesn't matter if it's Sri Lankans are doing it or Chinese are doing it. Like, anyway, like, end of the day is we want to grow as a country. Since opening to the public in January 2022, over 1.5 million people have visited the port city. Sri Lanka, in fact, is a highly educated country. While the country is a great tourist destination, the country is also well known for producing world-class accountants and other professionals and for its fast digitalization. There is a huge potential ahead, and the country is learning experience from China. I also sat down with the Sri Lankan Prime Minister, who praised how China offers great experience to Sri Lanka and the world, tackling poverty and boosting growth. China has been helping all countries across the continents. The Belt Road Development Plan was an important role for new economic development for whole of Asia. So uh, it is a strong base for um, covering, not millions, covering the life of few billions of people in the world. The Belt and Road Initiative proposed by Chinese President Xi Jinping believes that the prosperity and stability of the world cannot be built on the foundation of the poor getting poorer and the rich getting richer, and modernization should not be the privilege of a few. With that being said, the hope for Elvis is that one day his country can offer great opportunities for younger it's generations. Yeah, it's not tall. Hopefully in future, will have you will overcome all the people will overcome all these problems when the Sri Lankan economy will improve the Port City project will one of the main development will help to improve the economy in Sri Lanka.